What's up guys? We are back. Back from Hyrox in Vienna, the European Open Champs. Uh, unfortunately I couldn't really film too much while I was there. So yeah, this is going to be like a reflection on the event and just seeing where we can go from here. Uh, just on like the next training block and seeing kind of what the focus has to be because um, there were definitely some learning points from this, from this event which I didn't really expect. It's the first time I've actually done the Open, so it is the first time without pro weight. So, um, my fastest time on pros um, previously was 1 hour 18, which, in my, um, which is the world qualifying time. And then this was um, 1 hour 12 uh, with, all, with, with, with all the Open weight. So, you know, it felt, it felt very, very good. Runs felt consistent, held, held a really, really good pace throughout the race. Um, so, I mean, I couldn't have really asked for any more out of it. Flew off at 6 a.m. to catch the race start. So it was pr pr pretty much the best I could hope for. Today, it's just to go getting back on it, getting back in the lab. For the next few weeks, it's gonna be kind of easy, but yeah, just gonna hit some uh, some nice easy miles this morning. Got, um, I'm gonna do about four or five. Just kind of see how it goes and after these events for the week after you just kind of things a little bit easy but you don't really want to be too stagnant it's just coming up to 6 a.m so we're gonna hit this run nice easy pace nothing too crazy just get moving right let's go so yeah so it's actually finally now coming up to not actual freezing mornings where i have to layer up with tons of layers and stuff i can actually just wear a t-shirt now so what is it like 11 degrees outside so i mean it's really kind of the ideal ideal temp now so we're gonna get this in do as i said like four or five miles just just very very easy not really with any intention just you know getting the miles on the legs and, and that, that's it really so uh let's get going every time you arrive you make me lose control over my mind You indecise, you switch inside It's 3 a.m. you drunk, now you call my line Yeah, you call my line Want me to call you mine, girl, you mine Yeah, girl, you so sexy, you ecstasy I want you to slide right next to me Shh, don't move, I bring the Hennessy So what's the plan now? Moving forward after this race, on these runs, from the end of this week, it's gonna be 16 weeks into a world. So basically that's gonna be split into now a four week block, and then it'll be then a 12 week, much more intense block after that. So for these next four weeks, the mileage will come down a lot. It's going to be somewhere in the range of 15, maybe I think topping out like 20 miles in the week. So about maintaining the fitness I built in the last block, but not pushing the legs too hard because from now I'm the focus is being put much more on the strength side. So we kind of we build up that strength base bit further out from the race then as we get into it we taper in get more specific it's gonna be lots of compound movements lots of big lifts heavy weights and after the full week it's back on a properly intense 12 week block ramping up again so and then just hope in that 12 week we can like hold on to the strength so yeah that's really where we're gonna go so i mean that's really surprising coming off this race is that even though I pretty much redlined it for over an hour I actually feel okay I mean the day or two after it I felt a bit sore but I mean just on the legs and, and on these runs they actually feel okay feels like I can kind of push the miles a bit but maybe it's just kind of all of the miles in training just conditioned the legs just to take it but 
on our fault. Really, really good post race. No major pains, no major injuries. So, you know, you can't really ask for anything more off a race. And just being able to jump straight back into a, into a block of training. So, coming up to the last, last mile now. We're on. How much I love your home, cause I don't show. These things I feel inside for you. So, post run, uh, we're gonna do my post run shake. This is what I have after every single run, uh, and it's the best thing ever. Blender, um, whole milk, none of that half semi skim shit. Whole milk in. Frozen blueberries. We've got about 10 bags in there. Just uh, throw in a banana as well. Now, for a bit of protein, you can add some protein powder, but I just like some 0% fat Greek yogurt. Get some of that in. Ingredient, PME, the most essential ingredient in the whole shake. It's up to you how much you put. I put a healthy amount. Yeah. Fingers on. And that's it. So that's how I'm done. Pour up. Put your carbs in there. Got a good, good amount of protein fats as well. Really it's, a, it's an all complete shake. It tastes absolutely unbelievable. So. Morning people in the gym this morning. Saturday morning, so yeah, we've got phase one of the session. Uh, we're gonna build to a heavy hand clean, um, one rep. Uh, see what kind of weight we can throw up. See where the strength is out this morning. Let's get it. Phase one's done, so hand cleans are done, but we're gonna do like a conditioning piece. So as many rounds as you can in half an hour. 500 meter run, 250 meter ski, 250 meter row. I'm gonna push the pace. I think we hold like four minute k's on the run. See where we go, two rounds in. Yeah, yeah.
Sunday training done, just got a um, 45 minute yoga and then half an hour in the sauna. So just keeping it very, very low on the intensity. Next week is, is uh, gonna be kind of back on normal training. This week has just kind of, kind of been just feeling things out, just seeing how the body feels, but the miles will be coming down on the runs, but we're gonna be pushing that weight again in the gym. So we're gonna be going heavy again. So, so yeah, that's kind of the plan for the next four weeks. So thanks for watching and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next one.